Tell everybody what happened to you. Well, I woke up this morning and uh, grabbed my glasses and the arms just fell right off. <laughs> but at least I stay on my face somewhat to watch TV. <laughs> Your whole life is a break. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't believe you talked to me that way. My whole life, I do want it to be like a amazing bomb life. Yeah, so okay, cool. That's good. You're complimenting me. I'm heading to my grandma's to go pick up some more packages for our maiden voyage out of here in just a couple of weeks. My husband left me. It's the night before we're supposed to get the bus registered. And he left me and our daughter. He says there's too much shit in the bus. Hmm. Yeah. We're repairing the ceiling. If you're ever wondering why there's blue tape on here, it's because we need to glue it. And I just got done gluing this one, so it's good to go. So I'm gonna be taking that down here pretty soon. I needed to talk to you guys privately real quick, just to let you know what's going on. As you saw before, I was upset and we're getting ready to register the bus. What's supposed to be today. And, um, I was supposed to start filming like last night, a little bit this morning and get things ready to go and then show you guys what it's like to go and register a bus. Right? Well, I want to show you a happy couple. We're so excited. Um, my husband and I. So all of that's supposed to be exciting. All of that I still want to show you guys to, to, to show you what that's like. Um, but I guess the part that I'm upset about, besides the fact that there's something sticky on my, I don't know where this sticky came from. Weird. Oh, uh, I bet I know where it came from. Anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're totally in a huge fight. As I had set up my computers for work just to make sure everything was up and running because it's an actual computer tower. And because I had the computer tower out and visible for him to see when he got home, he immediately got upset. There was just a little section at that time. Now I've doubled that 
and now there's this much space on the counter. So he got more space, but because he saw the computer tower like next to the couch or on top of the couch a little bit, he didn't say a word, he just turned around and he left us. So needless to say, this morning I'm pretty upset. Thought that's why we decided to go on the road, like, set, like, and the final word is he'll be here at 12 o'clock today to um, register the bus. The point is, is that was retarded. This is real life. Um... I kind of opened up there. He's upset because there's a chair in the living room also. I'll, I'll note that. I bought a chair and there's two computer monitors on the counter. He feels like there's too much stuff. Getting to do this? Yeah. And yeah. not fly it on that day. What? They're going to get to do it too. When we go up to the wind. Yeah, I know. When that's soon. Yeah. Driving great too since they fixed everything. Oh man, this is great. I'm a little nervous right now. I ain't going to lie. He says he feels good. He says things feel good, but I don't feel so good. What? We need bungee cords. That's the first thing that I noticed five minutes into the drive. Everything went flying. Well, not everything. Because I was pretty good about putting everything away, except for this, of course, I thought, oh, no way, this is going to come out. It came out. Fridge is good. My bags went flying everywhere, so they're over there now. I thought I was immune from the fly out, but I was wrong. But I am so nervous about, like, every single little movement right now. We made it to our first stop. Grandma's house. I feel like we're gonna tip over any second. Oh, there she is. Okay. After seeing Logan's parents' new trailer, it was time to move on, just me and him, to go get the bus registered in a tiny town about 40 minutes away. Yeah, we did. No title work. After 4.30. We made it just in time. Step one to getting your bus registered in a tiny town. Walk in with a smile on your face. Show the lady how eager you are to show her something new and exciting. As soon as I did this, we simply walked outside out to the bus because it had to be inspected. I called beforehand and knew that we didn't have to have the state inspector look at it. 
more the reason why I chose to go to a tiny town in Idaho. Do it again. It was super simple. She just walked outside, walked into the bus, looked around for about a minute tops, asked about the VIN number, and that was it. Super easy. We're officially an RV. We're official, Mew! My cat has been sitting in this chair the whole, whole time. This is like a high speed boat, but it's huge boat. I think that's why I'm having troubles. Boat life, you're not traveling this 60 miles an hour. Ah! Oh my God, Mew. Mew is having a hard time. What? Oh my God, this is so frightening. approaching our final destination here very soon. This is going to be the part. I'm recording myself right now, so I suggest we don't swear. The split, the split, wide turn. Okay, good job, babe. You're doing great. First campground shower, not bad, not bad. I love you, my love, good job. I was telling him I was scared today. She was super scared. You were just so nervous. I was nervous about everything. She was, it was very ridiculous and it stressed me out because I was just trying to did good. I didn't do good. We need a few things. This was a good test run, right? Mm -hmm. I was, I'm happy we got registered. Yep. We got registered. As an RV. One, two. This is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed. You're an official wannabe winner. Domicile. That one went to Little. If we went to any other county, we would have had to have gone back. Bonneville would not have given us such an easy time. So basically, she came in here. Mm -hmm. She walked right up the stairs. Walked right up the stairs. Came inside. 
came inside. Walk down the hall. And she was smiling the whole time. She looked at the toilet, showed her the water and the electrical. She said, wow, good job guys, or something like that. And she looked at me and said, well, this, this is fine to me. This looks good to me. And I said, all right, looks, sounds good. Let's, let's go do the paperwork. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. What love you, I honey. I love you too, Blue. Do you? My bestie, my backseat driver. Yeah, my, go my figure. This is the end. To, this is how the day always ends. Her, you Ellen sitting me. next to me, like oh. we're all everything is good to go. <laughs> we're back on schedule. Yeah. Business as usual. I got, I, I almost split my head open twice today. No, she didn't. She just was being a klutz. No, because I was sitting on the couch and I walked right into the wall. Uh, twice. Again. I because I'm not used to the ceiling being so low up front. Yeah. I just thought I had this clearance. She's silly. Oh. Ridiculous. I could cry right now. This this was I a little. I could cry right now. What she put me through today. Yeah, what ridiculous. you put me through. No, oh my cry. gosh, I did great. I, I just said cut Can it and case? make people sick. When you squibble it and cut everything out and just squidge. Love you. Cut. How about you act like you love me a little bit? I do love you. I'm trying to be appropriate. It's quiet hours in the campground. I had to remind myself. We're not used to having neighbors. I mean, there's a lot of people. We're used to the junkyard. <laughs> We're used to quiet. Sort of. The neighbors over at the junkyard are a little noisy sometimes. They've kind of settled down a little bit. Thanks. Morning after. Our first night at the campground. Now you guys can have a look at how we pack up. Take her away, Ian. Yeah, take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> cap out this video remember how i told you guys that we were repairing the ceiling and all that blue tape was coming down well i am serious <laughs> i love my ceiling now